Hello everyone and welcome back to Papi English. My name is Sam and I'm traveling the world teaching you English. Today I'm in the city of Treviso in northern Italy. So let's get going. This is Treviso, a city where water meets land, a city full of fascinating history, as well as interesting English lessons waiting to be discovered. So let's go. Let's discover Treviso. We are in Piazza dei Signori, the Lord's Square, and this square really stands out in Treviso. It's the most impressive square and the most famous square, and it's the beating heart of the city. That means it's in the center of the city, and it's where everything else revolves around. Having seen the central square of Treviso, it was time to work my way outwards and see the rest of the city. And the most eye-catching thing were these amazing canals with their turquoise color. These canals and rivers really give Treviso a feel of Venice. They interwine throughout the city. That means they twist and turn and link up at different places. And many years ago, merchants used to travel from Venice to Treviso by boat to sell goods. That means to sell food and materials, etc. And even today, a traditional market still exists. That's when I discovered this market on an island in the middle of Treviso, connected by two bridges. So it smells a lot of fish here, and if you don't like fish, you could say it's pongi, or you could say it stinks, which means it smells bad. But I quite like this map. I was a huge fan of this open air market selling fish. You could see all of the fresh fish and seafood. It looked delicious. It was time to walk around Treviso again, and the next thing I noticed were these amazing water mills. They gave the city so much charm. But I had no time to waste because I had to see this statue in Treviso. I was taken aback. I was shocked and surprised. So guys, this is the Fontana delle Tette, in English the Fountain of Tits. Now, a little bit of advice. Tits or boobs mean breasts. Breasts is much more polite. Tits and boobs is informal, and in the wrong situation, it can sound very rude. There also exists the word bosom, but bosom is quite old-fashioned. So this fountain was built in 1559, and once a year, wine would flow through the breast. So red wine would flow from one breast and white wine from the other. And this wine was complimentary to the people of Treviso, so they could drink it for free for three days. Now I had worked up an appetite, time to try some local food. So Treviso is the land of Prosecco, so if you come here you have to drink this, and it's very refreshing, but the bubbles go to my head. That means the bubbles make me a little bit drunk. It's typical to have a little snack when you drink your Prosecco, and I tried these traditional bruschettas with various toppings. It's good stuff. And of course, the tiramisu, which many people argue originates in Treviso. It's really sweet, but scrumptious. Delicious. Having satisfied my stomach, it was time to check out these incredible walls that surround the old part of Treviso. The mind-blowing thing, the thing that shocked me the most about these walls, was that these walls were built over 500 years ago to protect the city from attacks, and they are still intact today. They're still intact, that means they're still complete and not too badly damaged. Around the walls you could also see these incredible rivers, which are absolutely stunning. So that's the beautiful city of Treviso. Amazing sights, incredible food, and great people as well. So Alessia, how is life in Treviso? You are Trevisiana, is that how you si, say it? Trevigiana. Trevigiana. Si. I can say that uh, since Treviso is a really quiet town, so not too busy, and so life is really lovely. You have everything because the town centre is really small, so you have everything, you have cafes, restaurants, shops, museums, theatre, everything, so it's really it's good. good. Uh, the people is, are lovely. Really nice, I can say. This year is lovely, so this is my Thank experience. You. And Thank come you. to visit, travel the world, learn English with people like Alessia. She's Italian, she speaks English. Bye! Ciao! <laughs>
I had an incredible time in the beautiful Italian town of Treviso. Where do you think I should go next as I travel the world and teach you English?